What's up guys? I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, um, but I've been caught up with schoolwork and actual work. But today I am going to be doing an install video. I'm going to be installing an idler pulley on my 2000 Mustang GT. So uh, I'm going to keep that short and simple and go ahead and get started. First thing, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to take the old idler pulley off. Um, it's been making some noise lately. I'm going to start it up and see if it makes the noise for you. But if not, I'm going to insert a video right now. As you can see there, it's making an awful whining noise. So I'm going to change the pulley out and see if it helps. It. Now what you want to do first is you want to relieve the tension on your belt. Now what you want to do is you want to take a breaker bar or something with leverage and you're going to want to put it into the tensioner right here and just pull it to your right towards the driver's side and that will relieve the belt and you can pull it off. And there you go, simple as that. And next you want to find the correct socket size for your idler pulley here. So I'm going to go find out and see what size it is. Now yours may be different, but in my case it was a 13 millimeter. So I'm going to get a ratchet and get that off. I decided just to use a breaker bar, that way I'd have more leverage. Oh there, simple as that. Now it is a good idea to do this when your engine is cold. In my case, it, I just drove it, so it is pretty warm, uh, and it, the idler and the bolt can also be pretty hot, so just be careful with that, and make sure you do it when the engine is colder. Now you're just gonna wanna repeat the process and put your new pulley back on. Now you just tighten her back up and you should be good to go. Now make sure to refer to your owner's manual, that way you can torque the bolt down to its correct torque reading. Now you want to put your breaker bar back in the belt tensioner, that way you can put the belt back on to the pulley system. Now make sure you again that you are referred to your manual that tells you the correct way that the belt should be on because if it's on there incorrectly, bad things can happen. That should be it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was at least a little bit helpful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe below. Be sure to check out my other content as well. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later.